This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Desmond Saunders. The Bahamian electronic communications industry rebounding from a five-year low in 2018 to grow its total revenues by 3% to $390 million in 2019. The Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority outlining its findings in its 2019 annual report. Mobile data subscribers grew from 314,000 419 in 2018 to 362,333 in 2019. The mobile data penetration rate also grew to 92.60. There was less explosive growth in the broadband internet market. The Council is Limited, along with the Luther Chamber of Commerce, planning to host the Signature Business Summit of the Year. The Luther Business Outlook will take place online this May 21st and 22nd, this year's theme, Post-COVID-19 Readiness and Preparedness. Creator of the Business Outlook series, Joan Albury, says organizers have been forced to pivot to an online format this year in response to COVID-19. Key stakeholders in business and commerce will address various issues, and organizers believe the summit will help steer a Luther forward post-COVID-19. In international business news, New York City has placed limits on how much food delivery apps can charge restaurants that use their platforms. The proposal, which was put to a vote on Wednesday, will cap fees at 20% and apply in emergency situations when restaurants must be shut. There have been complaints about fees charged by tech firms amid skyrocketing deliveries during the lockdown. Other U.S. cities such as San Francisco, Washington, and Seattle have introduced tighter rules for apps. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. Good evening.